Howdy folks, it's time for another quick garden update. Uh, it's still a bit nippy so I had to put my hat on, but um, we'll have a little look around the garden and uh, basically I'm just kind of preparing the soil and everything, um, ready for this year's uh, planting. Okay, with this little patch here is where I'm going to be um, growing my carrots. Now, unlike last year where I grew quite a few carrots and they were a bit of a disaster, they turned out to be what I class as comedy carrots, uh, you know, weird shapes and stuff. Um, I'm not going to do too many this year, I'm just going to plant probably about 10 to 15 and I'm going to sort of put them in this little piece of soil here which I'm really spending a lot of uh, attention um, getting all the stones out and getting, getting it pretty deep and sandy. Um, my sort of aim really is just to see whether I can grow about 10 to 15 absolutely perfect long carrots. Um, kind of like a hobby sort of thing, you know, a show, like a, a show sort of gardener would try and do, rather than kind of growing for self-sufficiency. Um, then I'd say I've had a lot of land, I would obviously grow lots of carrots, but they're so cheap to buy now, um, I don't really want to waste my kind of garden real estate on just carrots and things that don't, uh, don't tend to grow very well um, in, in the kind of uh, soil that I have. This, as I say, I'm going to really work on it, and uh, as you can see, it's really sandy and fine, and hopefully I'll get some really decent carrots. See, it's stones like that that a carrot's going to go down. And it's, if it's flat, it's going to hit that and it can't go any further, and then it'll split. So by removing these, it'll allow the carrot to just go straight down or whatever other root vegetable you're planting. I'm not going to bother with parsnips this year, they're too hard to germinate. Um, there's too long a growing season and the results for me in the past few years are just useless, um, so I'd rather just buy them. Uh, <coughs> this year, to be honest, as I say, if I had a massive garden, I'd plant potatoes, carrots, I'd plant everything. But because I've only got a smallish amount of space, I want to really fill that up with greens. Um, that's my main thing. Salad, greens, spinach, um, pak choy, stuff like that. All things that are really good for summer. Uh, potatoes, carrots, parsnips that I can just buy from the store. Don't like buying things from the store, but they've made it cheap enough to do it. As I say, this year the carrots are just a, an experiment to see how well I can grow them. And a quick look here, there's the daikon coming on brilliantly. There's purple sprouting, a couple of tomatoes, the rest haven't germinated yet. So things are growing and there's carrots at the end. I'm determined this year, if the weather's nice, to make sure um, I get a really good uh, harvest of daikon. Fingers crossed. Now I could easily just dig this up, uh, move it somewhere where it doesn't matter whether it's a bit stony and put grow back soil in here. But at the end of the day I'm trying to do this on, on a really low budget. I don't want to be spending money because the amount of money you spend on, uh, you know, 10 grow backs could be, um, about, uh, you know, about three or four weeks a month's worth of vegetables bought. So I've got soil here. It's not perfect, but I want to make it perfect. Uh, you obviously have to just do that with hard work. I think gardening is either hard work or money. Um, and if you do a bit of both, then obviously great. But uh, I don't want to be spending anything on the garden other than a few seeds. Okay, what I'm doing here, and it's heavy work, is I'm gonna be digging, well, I'm trying to dig down about a foot and a half, maybe a little more. As you can see here, now, this is um, this is gonna be for the daikon. Now, that's basically uh, kind of an Asian radish, and it can grow massive under the right conditions. So I'm trying to go down as deep as possible. I'm kind of hitting roots now from the tree, so that's probably about as deep as I'm gonna get it. But if I can get a, a daikon growing, you know, a foot and a half, metal here then I'll be a happy man. Now that spade, a bit of sort of useless information here and the rake and the hoe used to belong to my grandfather. He passed it on to my father 
who then has now passed it on to me. So, very old, and uh, but serves its purpose. Now look at that. It's been in there since last year. A little carrot, um, a stumpy little bugger, but um, still in perfect condition. No worms, nothing. I'm going to go grab a cup of tea. Now I suddenly came up with this idea of how to use this chicken wire to actually sieve the um, soil and get rid of the large stones. So all I've done is I've put it across the, you know, where the daikon's gonna, uh, gonna go and just throw the soil on top and every so often give it a shake and it obviously catches all the large stones. And if the stones actually gets through the double kind of layer, it's it gonna be too small to worry about. So yeah. Okay, taking that idea a little further, I've made myself a kind of gold panning sieve to get rid of all the uh, large stones. Well, after uh, about an hour of sieving and digging and everything else, um, the soil's starting to look really good. It's uh, pretty much stone free, very sandy. Um, yeah, so hopefully any sort of root vegetables will do well here. Um, let's have a little overview. As you can see, this is all the stones that I managed to uh, get out of the soil. It's a hell of a lot. Well, the sun's actually come out and it's um, <clears throat> turning out to be quite a nice day. Um, obviously this morning it was very nippy, but I uh, managed to take the hat and coat off. Um, this is usually where I plant the flowers. But this year I'm actually going to attempt to grow some pumpkins. They're not germinating yet, but uh, when they do, that's where they're going to live. Well, that's about it for this uh, garden update. Obviously not really a lot to uh, show at the moment. Um, hopefully the next one will be obviously when I'm starting to plant stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.